are in? Uh, I am residing in Denver, Colorado. Okay. How is the weather up there right now? It's very pleasant. It's actual springtime here. Do you like the the heavy snow in the in the when the, it's really extreme winter and you know there's a heavy you know ten inches, twelve inches, fifteen inches snow? Do you like that? I'm not exceptionally fond of snow, but luckily this year we had a very pleasant winter. There were just a couple of days that were very cold. Besides that, we didn't have the uh, we didn't have snow like the Northeast did this year at all. Okay. okay. Yeah. So tell me something about yourself. How did you got into the QA field? What you like about QA? Why you want to you know be a QA? Tell me something about those things. Sure. Absolutely. Um, I have about um, approximately five years experience in a QA field. I started my career as a QA analyst. Um, I worked for a couple of projects in India and then a couple of projects in the U.S. Uh, as a QA uh, tester or QA analyst position. What I do like a lot about QA is that um, uh, the personality, the kind of personality that I have, uh, one, I have a very keen eye for detail. I uh, so I think I can be a good tester. I'm good at this field uh, because I do have a very keen eye for detail to find out, uh, um, you know, uh, what is right and what is not right. So that makes me a good tester, and um, that's what I like about the QA field. That's why it interests me. Uh, as for my experience, I have, uh, as I said, I have around five years of experience in QA. I have worked in different domains, uh, mostly in banking, but I have experience in insurance sector as well and um, uh, internet trading site, uh, internet trading domain also. So these are the three domains I have worked on. I started my career as a manual tester and uh, gradually worked my way up to be um, um, doing automation and I worked on QTP, Quality Center, Jira, and, uh, but I did start my career writing uh, test cases, manual test cases and spreadsheets also. So I have a vast experience in QA. On the scale of one to 10, if I ask you to rate yourself as an automation test engineer, what you will rate yourself? I started doing automation testing about two years back, and I would rate myself on a um, on a scale of one to ten. I would rate myself uh, around seven in automation testing. Okay. You said that your most of the experience is in banking industry. So that is correct. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about your latest project in banking industry and what you did, what was the project was all about, and what was your role in that project? Absolutely. Uh, my last project was with the Community Bank of the Bay. It is, um, it is a bank uh, based yeah, out of... I, I, I'll interrupt you quickly. The Off the Bay, what is Off the Bay? The, that's the name of the bank, the Community Bank of the Bay. Community Bank of the Bay, okay. Thank you. It's based in uh, um, California, and it's a, it's like a community bank. It is. It does not have. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have a nationwide presence, but it's one of the leading banks in California and Bay Area, especially. And uh, the the portal, the online portal of this bank, is a rich a rich resource for uh, of information for its customers. Uh, about all the products and services that they offer. Also, the online portal um, ha provides a complete banking solution to the customers in terms of um, uh, letting them create accounts, checking balance, transferring money, uh, paying bills, etc. Uh, my responsibility um, uh, in, in in this project was uh, uh, one. The, the content uh, testing for the portal, and two, uh, the, I was involved with the testing of the login transfer uh, funds and bill pay functionality. I, I started from scratch on this project, so I attended the, uh, the initial review meetings and the requirement meetings, went on to write manual test cases, did smoke testing, and uh, then I 
moved on to writing um, automation scripts for regression testing for this uh, project. So I was kind of involved right from the beginning. Okay. When you say that you were involved with online fund transfer, so did your application use any kind of uh, third party uh, web interface, any kind of uh, web services you have used or tested? No, I, I don't have any knowledge of that, that there was any third party web services involved. When you were testing, the online fund transfer, what exactly you were doing in the test environment? Okay, when, when, I was, uh, when we were testing the functionality for online fund transfer, it was basically uh, trying to test that um, um, that, the, that the right fields took um, were accepting the correct formatting, like you know the uh, the amount field was taking only numerics, um, and then if they were auto formatting it to the correct way, so if it's someone puts five zero zero, it would auto correct it to five zero zero point zero zero, and then uh, things like uh, if the account number was correct, it was the correct number of numbers, and that amount, that kind of amount was available in that account to be transferred and the uh, balance that was left after the transfer was the correct amount of balance left and the person was authorized to make that transfer. So those kinds of functionalities we were checking for transfer funds. Okay. Did you test any kind of uh, CDs? You mean the security, uh, the, uh, the Certified deposits? Certificate of deposits. Certificate of deposits? Yes. Uh, testing what about the certificates of deposits? I'm sorry? Did you did you tested any kind of certificate of deposit funds in the customer's account, like if they are in cashing or if they are creating a new certificate of deposit, uh, their maturity date, their interest rate, uh, how long they can keep, any other options related to that? Uh, that the 